Well, I am a badass, so, <laughs> you know. Um, let's see if this works. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my former boss, um, Jim Messina, and I want to I wanna talk a little bit about fun. I want to talk a little bit about humor, um, and, but first I want to tell you guys a story. So um, let's start there. So I'm Harper. Um, you guys can please interact with me on Twitter. This, this whole speaking thing is just a ploy to get more Twitter followers. Um, <laughs> it seems to be working pretty well. Um, anyway, in 2011, I was hanging out. I was, I was doing what I like to call a vision quest. Um, how many people here know what a vision quest is? OK, not very many. So a vision quest is when you go into the desert and do a bunch of peyote. I didn't do that. I joined a venture capital firm. It's largely the same thing, I think. The outcome was very similar. Um, but anyway, I was sitting there hanging out at this venture capital firm, having a good time, um, doing some due diligence, sitting in pitches, the whole bit. And um, this friend of mine called, and it happened to be a Republican. Um, I don't hold that against him too much. But you know, it just happened to be this good friend who was a Republican. And he's like, hey, do you know this guy, Michael Slaby? Um, and I was like, no, I have no idea who this guy is. And he's like, well, he works for this guy. Um, how many of you guys know who Barack Obama is? OK, so there's like four hands. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. How many of you guys know who Barack Obama is? OK, there we go. Now we're, now we're listening. OK, so anyway, um, Michael Slaby was a CTO in 2008. And so he, if you look at him, he's kind of a very, uh, he looks like a progressive, I guess you would say, you know, a collar and blazer and all that. And so he was a CTO in 2008. Um, and then um, he was out, I guess he was tasked with finding the CTO for 2012. Um, and so that would, <laughs> so you can kind of see here this, that's a good juxtaposition, right? Like this is, and, and um, <clears throat> I sometimes like to joke that um, because there's a lot of a lot of the press that came after the campaign was about my appearance, and I like to joke that in 2016 they're going to be looking for a homeless person. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so so they, you know, this is a real campaign asset. This was a background that we we put out on our Tumblr, um, and and usually I didn't quite catch it here, but usually when I put that on the screen, everyone in the audience simultaneously face palms. <laughs> you guys might be in too into it or into Drake, I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is the thing. This is the first time in my life I did this whole, this whole, uh, I guess, a job. And for the first time in my life, I experienced something which I'd never experienced before, which was stress. Um, this was, I thought, a good, re whoa. <laughs> Automatically moving forward. This is the, this image I got from Google Image Search, totally licensed, of course. And um, <laughs> it seemed to represent really what my mind was going through, which was this explosion. I didn't know how to handle it. But luckily, I had some pretty good support. Well, let's call it unique support. Um, so this guy is Jim Messina. Um, Jim Messina was the campaign manager for the Obama campaign. And so the very first thing he says, he's like, Harper, you know, it's great to see you. Great to meet you. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> and that was the first thing he says to me. Like, he's like, glad to have you here. Don't fuck it up. And I'm just like, OK. Um, and then this next guy, um, this is my friend, Chris DeBona. Anyone here know Chris DeBona? Chris DeBona is head of open source at Google. Um, Chris DeBona says to me, you'll probably be fired. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. This is, this is great. This is like, the, like hours after Jim Messina told me that. So then later in the campaign, another friend visited. And uh, this is John Maida, a famous designer type. And he says, wow, it sounds like you're dealing with a lot of politics. That's kind of like, well, yeah, that's true. And so you know, this great support that I had, what, <laughs> the thing was is we, we actually solved it a different way rather than this support. And we, actually, they were very supportive. Um, but what we did is we stacked the deck. So to make sure we were successful, regardless of the support, regardless of the politics, regardless of the difficulty of the job, we made sure that we had the best team, a great team. That was also full of weirdos. Um, <laughs> we, I didn't know that I had hired a horse. Um, and we worked very, very, very hard. It was awesome. It was this really great e experience. We built this amazing technology, um, and it, it worked out relatively well. Um, one of the key things here is that we laughed so much. Um, and obviously, we won. So thank you. Well, I guess you're welcome, I guess I should say. But, uh, um, but one of the things that helped us a lot was humor. 
Humor really helped us kind of get, bring everything together. It was an equalizer where it didn't matter who you were, we could all enjoy a laugh in the most stressful environments. Um, it allowed us to, I guess it reminded us that we were human, that we were all the same. So let me think about, like, I, I, and when, I was, when I got the opportunity to do this talk, I was like, this is a good chance to talk about humor. And I was like, well, what is humor? How does it work? And I really have no idea. Um, <laughs> and so I thought a lot about, like, how do we have fun? How do, we, how do we make fun? How do all these things come together? So I'd like to introduce, for the first time ever, the four-step plan to have a fun in a stressful environment trademark. <laughs> so the first one, and this one is harder, um, you really have to be very, very good. Um, so just get very good at what you do. Um, for us, we just hired the absolute best. Um, fun didn't get in the way then because they were really good at what they were doing. So when you'd stop and you'd try and have that fun interaction or, or make fun or have humor come into your life to bring everything down a notch, it was fine. Um, number four, weird proclivities. I don't know what it was, but I hired all these very strange people, and they all were, had the strange thing. This is actually a guy named Abi Noda, who happened to be a professional flautist. Is that the right pronunciation of? And uh, so this is him playing a Ja Rule song. <laughs> Nobody really knew what was going on, and this is this guy at Trammel, which is an early Twitter employee, basically dying on the floor laughing or. Um, and this leads us into the most important one, or one of the most important ones. You can't take yourself too seriously. This is my boss. Um, it wasn't dressed like a Viking day. Um, he just kind of dressed like that. But the king of this was um, Jim Messina, once again, the, my, my, the boss's boss, the campaign manager. So every Thursday, we would have this tech meeting with all of the executives of the campaign. We'd get together and we'd talk about what, what, what had we done that week, what are our goals for next week, and kind of give an idea of making sure we're just not messing it up. Um, and at the end, it was always very high pressure, very tense. Um, and so we started Photoshopping um, Jim Messina and putting it at the end of every presentation. And we just have a little thought bubble that said, like, questions. Um, and we did this a lot. <laughs> um, this is my favorite. Um, for some reason, he just doesn't make a great draft. Uh, but this is his favorite. I remember him saying, yeah, I could be a dragon. But the idea of how do you just make sure that everyone is able to have a joke, have fun, and not take yourself too seriously. And sometimes this is really tricky, especially when it's really intense. Um, and so one of the things we found that helps with this is inclusion. Um, oftentimes when you're trying to kind of make a joke, you often do it at someone else's expense. And we really tried hard to not do that. Um, so we found that cake actually helped a lot. So this is a, I don't know what the deal with this cake is. I think it was the day we went to production with our applications and someone made a cake that barely said production. <laughs> um, we also did a lot of notes. And so this is a note from election day. Um, everyone was crazy. And so this note was just like, yo, chill out. I once had to censor it for a presentation that said, calm the pug down. <laughs> um, anyway, there's another cake. So this is my favorite cake. Um, this cake was about a week before election day. Um, I'm telling you, cake let, let everyone in. Everyone had a good time. So everyone comes and is like, we eat cake. And they see it, and they're just like, oh, no, we can't eat this until after Election Day. Well, this is like a week before Election Day. So the cake just sits there all, like for a week, sitting on this table. And then we win, and then everyone eats the cake. That seems super sketchy. <laughs> I would have dealt with a superstition and just ate the cake when it came. But the number one thing is, um, and this is really important, don't do it if it isn't fun. The interesting thing about this is this is an actual campaign rule that each of us got when we, were, when we started. We started on a Monday that have this kind of, um, I guess, orientation. You'd come in, and one of the things was always have fun. If you're not having fun, something is wrong, and you might need to leave. And so this is something to think about. When you're doing something in the future, um, you're, I don't even know what you guys would do now. School? Um, <laughs> if you go to school, just make sure you're having fun. Don't do something that you think you should do. Make sure you enjoy it. Um, and work hard at that. We worked really hard at making sure that we enjoyed every minute of it, and a lot of that was bringing fun in. Um, and so with that, I'll leave you with this short movie that didn't work. So <laughs> I guess I won't leave you with that short movie that didn't work. It was a super cool gif of the president putting on sunglasses and taking them off and putting them on and taking them off over and over again. Well, thank you very much for having me.